Hi, how you doing? In this video, I'm going to show you how to install your Newsbreak Pixel in your Shopify. So, we're going to come over here to your Ads Manager. Once you have everything set up, what you need to do, your next step is to come right down here to Tools, right here. And you're going to click it, and you're going to hit Event Management. Then you're going to we're going to create an event, and this is where the pixel is, the base code. So what we're going to do is you can name it your base code anything you want. So I'm just going to name this demo. And then we're going to come down here. After you read this, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this this code. This is the base code right here. And right here, we're going to hit click this little icon. So I'm going to click that. Then after we do that, we're going to come over to your your it's going to be your Shopify. So we're going to come to Shopify. And on the left hand side, what we're going to do is we're going to come down to online store. See that right there? Online store. I'm going to click that. And then to the right, what we're going to do is we're going to see three dots right here. Three dots. We're going to click that. And we're going to scroll down to edit code right there. We're going to click that. Then what we're going to do is on the left hand side is we want to go to theme liquid right here theme liquid and then anything under the head right here we can paste the code so I'm just gonna paste it I'm just gonna come over here and just pick anywhere to paste I'm gonna paste it right here and I am gonna paste and that's it and there's the code right so one thing you gotta remember we're gonna come back to uh, the base code here there's you got a tracking ID. See this tracking ID? I know it's grayed out, but see that tracking ID? We're gonna copy that. We're gonna come back over here and we're gonna copy this tracking ID. Copy that. Then I'm gonna put it on a notepad. I'm just gonna put this for later, right there, and it's gonna put it to the side. So after you save, now there's one more place we need to put the conversion because we need to get these conversions, right? So we're going to come back. We're going to exit out right here. We're going to exit out. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings. Settings right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to where it says customer events right here. This is a new feature Shopify has. So right here, customer events. We're going to click that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come back to the news break, right? We're going to come back to news break and we're going to scroll down and see see this tracking right here? This is the conversion event, okay? That's the conversion event that we need to add to this base code here. But it's going to be a different code. It's going to be uh, like a, a JavaScript. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back to this page here, how to install the news break uh, pixel. We're going to scroll down after we already did this, we already did the base code. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to copy this code. This is this JavaScript code right here. So we're going to select this. Okay. Select this. This is for the uh, the purchases. So uh, we're going to come back to Shopify. Okay. Now this is called customer events, which is right here in your settings. We're going to add a custom pixel. So we're going to click this. And we're going to name it. We're just going to name it Newsbreak Pixel. That's all you need to name it. Put the S in there. I don't want to misspell that. And then uh, we're going to add Pixel. Now remember that code that I copied over here? Oops, I'm sorry. Over here, this code. What we're going to do is we're going to paste that in here. Just like that. Okay, so this code, this code here is the JavaScript pixel code, right? Right here. We're going to paste that here, okay, in the customer events. We're going to paste that code here. Now, remember, I copied the ID, right? We need to copy that ID. So here's the ID. What we're going to do is we're just going to copy the whole thing here. And we're just going to copy that. We're going to put this to the side. And then what we're going to do is right down here, you see the ID right here? We are going to paste, we're going to select it, and we're going to paste that ID in because we need to have the same ID on the base code. 
we need the same ID over here for the customer events. And then after that, we're going to save. Right? Then there's one more step you need to do. You need to connect it. And once you do, once you do that, you hit connect, hit connect again. Then we're going to come back to customer events, and then we'll see Newsbreak Pixel is connected. That's all you have to do.